partnerships presented nationwide. Allison plans to return to her family's business in a leadership role. Allison Potts, will you please stand to be recognized? The next graduate that I would like to recognize will be remembering his father, Gary, as he accepts his diploma. Jason Grunstrom said that it was his father's dream that he attend college. For five years, Jason cared for his father who suffered from Alzheimer's. They traveled and made memories as Jason was inspired to complete his Associate of Arts. His father passed away last year. Jason, we know your father would have been very proud to see you graduate today. Jason Grunstrom, would you please stand and be recognized? And our next student graduates tonight with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, but it's not her first CF degree. She previously earned an Associate of Arts, an Associate Degree in Nursing, Emergency Medical Technician, and Surgical Technician Certificates. Christy Hackle Perry, who started her education in Levy County, <laughs> all right, got her family here, has received a prestigious fellowship and will continue her education in a master's program. This working mother of two graduates, magna cum laude tonight. Christy Hackle Perry, will you please stand and be recognized? She's back there. Now I'd like to present our Distinguished Service Award. Dr. Cash Peeler, would you please join me at the podium? Let's give this great man a well, warm welcome. It's a great pleasure for us to present the Distinguished Service Award to Dr. Cash, Cassius Peeler. Dr. Cash Peeler worked at the College of Central Florida for 40 years. He began his career as Director of Admissions in 1969 and eventually became the Vice President for Institutional Advancement and President of the CEF Foundation in 1989. During his tenure, he grew the assets of the Foundation to more than $72 million. He implemented college fundraising programs that included the Performing Arts Series, Dollars for Scholars, and the Citrus County Challenge Grant. Dr. Peeler also served the community and remains active today with his wife, Gwen. He was a charter member of Leadership Ocala, served as president for Vision 2020, president for United Way of Marion County, and chair of the Marion County Public Library Board. Dr. Peeler understood that private contributions were critical to maintaining high quality programming at the college. And he worked diligently to build the CF Foundation into one of the largest state college foundations in Florida. His efforts help provide scholarship opportunities for thousands of students, and it's a great honor for tonight for us to present the Distinguished Service Award to Dr. Cash Peeler. So please join me in recognizing Dr. Peeler. We got a beautiful little piece there for you. Let's do a quick picture. words. Thank you, Dr. Henningsen. I humbly accept this award on behalf of myself, but I proudly accept this award on behalf of two groups. First is the CF Foundation, board members, staff, volunteers, and donors who give their energies and time to provide the college with additional resources to meet its mission. The second group is the CF faculty and staff. They have a terrific long-term track record of helping students succeed. And in so doing, they have created a pathway for the foundation to be able to go out into the community and ask people to give support and invest in our great college. I want to recognize my late parents, Cassius Sr. and Gwen and uh, Leon, and my wonderful wife, Gwen, and my special brother, David, and other family and friends who have helped me along the way. May this be a wonderful evening for all that we remember and cherish. Thank you. Well said. Well done.
Let's give him one more round of applause. He really has earned it. Thank you, Dr. Peeler. You are an inspiration and a role model for all of us. Now I'd like to introduce our commencement speaker. Natasha Carey graduates tonight with her Bachelor of Applied Science in Business and Organizational Management. During this last semester, she participated in an internship with Front Street Realty while also working toward her real estate license. She was so impressive that her supervisor hired her full time before she completed her internship. But Nat Natasha traveled a challenging road before making it to CF. I think you will be inspired by her story. Please join me in welcoming your student commencement speaker, Natasha Carey. Thank you, President Henningsen, Board of Directors, and faculty staff members. And thank you all for being here today, especially my village. <laughs> they say it takes a village to raise a child, and that statement could not be any more true. You each have played a significant role in my life that has helped me overcome obstacles and become successful. To my fellow graduates, we each have a story that could have prevented us from being here today. But because we are fighters, we have made it. I always say, falling is not failing. Failing is falling and not getting back up. Sometimes life, unforeseen circumstances, and choices we make knock us down. I can say this with experience because my journey began 2,346 miles away in a country called Suriname in South America, right above Brazil. At nine years old, my father was murdered in front of me, and from there on out, my greatest struggles began. I was rejected. I was homeless. I was abused physically and emotionally. I made some choices I regret. However, through it all, I never gave up. Whenever I fell to my lowest point, I would always remind myself, I can only go up from here. I came to America when I was 14 years old. I lived here for a year and a half before my biological mother left. She decided it was easier to leave me here alone and return to Suriname. I went into the foster care system where I was adopted by my family, a teacher from high school and his wonderful family, and a few families thereafter. When we re-enrolled me at Donellan High, the guidance counselor told me I was not going to graduate with my class because I was missing a year's worth of credit. She said my options were either complete the GED exit program or stay another year at Donellan High. My dad looked at me and said, what do you want to do? I looked at him and the guidance counselor, and I told them, no, I am graduating with my class this year. During my senior year, <laughs> during my senior year, I was enrolled at my classes at Donellan High, Florida Virtual School, and online classes. At the end of the school year, the guidance counselor called my dad and me back into her office and told us, you have set an example here that will be used for years to come. When I began my journey at CF, I struggled at first. There were days where I walked to school because I didn't have a car. I attended classes during my lunch breaks. I paid for semesters out of my pocket. But here I am, finishing strong. I completed my bachelor's in one year, mind you, 61 credits. I shared a little bit of my journey to remind you all that falling is not failing. Remember to get back up, no matter how hard you fall or how many times you fall. Don't give up. Get back up and try again. Just remember that God has bigger plans for you than you have for yourself. 
Thank you all. Thank you, Natasha, and congratulations on your success. Thank you for inspiring us with your story. President Henningsen, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Central Florida, I am proud to present to you the candidates for baccalaureate and associate degrees and certificates. Each candidate has completed the requirements for the degree or certificate for which he or she is a candidate. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the appropriate degree or certificate be conferred. Will the graduates please rise? Everybody ready? This is the exciting part. As president of the College of Central Florida, upon the recommendation of the faculty, and by the authority vested in me by the State of Florida and the District Board of Trustees. I hereby confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree, associate degree, or certificate for which you have been recommended as evidence that you have fulfilled all requirements thereof, and that you are entitled to all rights and privileges pertaining to that degree or certificate. To all members of the graduating class, as a gesture and recognition of having received your degree or certificate, you may now move your tassels to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. <laughs> well, members of the graduating class, please come forward for the presentation of diplomas and certificates. Natasha Parisha Carey. Sandra G. Brown. Cheyenne Noel Kowalczyk, magna cum laude. Rebecca Sharon Haas Williams, cum laude. Claudia Augustine Durrett Cook. Jera Aja Therese Edwards. Allison Florence Potts. Dana Nicole O'Shall, summa cum laude. Garrett Austin Couch, summa cum laude. Carrie Lynn Knighton. Georgiana Renee Kosak, magna cum laude. Julie Ann Finch, cum laude. Amanda Danielle Hale, magna cum laude. Ava Kish, magna cum laude. Montana Elise Johnson, magna cum laude. Samantha Strauder Lattimore, cum laude. Lexi Forrester, magna cum laude. Pavia Christiana 
Kwamina Cum Laude. Arlene Francis Chauncey, Magna Cum Laude. Beatrice Martin, Summa Cum Laude. Anna Amelia DeMello, Magna Cum Laude. Iris C. Herrera, Cum Laude. Angelique Sophie Alarcon. Ryan Christopher Powers. Kayla Rose Ann Dolores Davis, Magna Cum Laude. Megan Elizabeth Griffin, Summa Cum Laude. David Austin Albright II, Magna Cum Laude. Stacy Taylor Hill. Kishel Denise Shaw, Summa Cum Laude. Andrea N. Robbins. Catherine Elaine Cook. Keishla Rodriguez, Cum Laude. Morgan E. Coitosi. Jeanette Karina Gonzalez Jaffe. Adriana Lee Hensley, Magna Cum Laude. Danielle Manolin Santiago, Summa Cum Laude. Michael Daniel Wood, the second Cum Laude.